welcome back to my channel. I'm Noreen Burke, owner of Call Clutter Fairy Home Organizing, and this is my YouTube channel, The Crafty Organizer. Since so many of us are home right now and we're looking for things to keep us busy, today I wanted to do something that you could do right along with me, because today we're going to do a quick and easy medicine cabinet makeover. Let's go. Here's my medicine cabinet. It's a it's original for the home, which is 1940s. It's been painted over so many times. Sadly, it doesn't even close well anymore. The previous people who have been here have painted over the hinges many times and the adjustable glass has been broken. And again, because it's been painted, I can't even replace it to slide it in. So the first thing that we're all gonna do together is take everything out of your medicine cabinet. Once it's completely empty, give it a good wipe down. And if you do follow the whole tutorial, make sure you wipe down the back of the mirror because I've got some great hacks for that. Once it's clean, we're gonna start peeking. I've got these little storage boxes that I get from the Dollar Tree. Uh, and I love these because I've used these in medicine cabinets before. But if you don't have access to this, a cereal box on its side can be covered with paper or with shelving contact paper and made to look really cute and match your decor. I'm gonna go ahead and use the boxes that I had on hand from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to keep the likes with the likes. So for me, I have a lot of eye care, I have a lot of oral care, I have some miscellaneous things, and I'm also making sure that as I'm checking these items, if it's expired, I'm throwing it away. The back of the door is where I've got some cute ideas. So this is these are things I got off of Pinterest. So you can use command strips, you can use magnets if your door is magnetic, um, but this is a great storage place that isn't being utilized where you can hang some of your everyday supplies. This is something I'm gonna be doing towards the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned. I had these little cups on hand for desserts. Now the Dollar Tree does sell cordial cups that are about an inch in diameter. You can use small boxes. You can get some small suction organizers that they sell at the Dollar Trees, at the dollar stores, and again, just attach them with command strips, or if you know you're going to be staying there and keeping it, you could use Gorilla Glue or E6000. But I'm gonna use the command strips, and I'm placing the red side on the container, and the black side is for the wall. So first I'm gonna attach two. One will make it wobbly, two will give it a very sturdy attachment for the wall. So. I'm going to change my placement around here so that the cups fit and I place it inside first and this is kind of a contortionist thing but I'm grabbing it from the inside so that I know it's the perfect spot on the inside of the door and when I open it and know it's in its perfect place I take a pencil and I'll just make sure that that pencil mark is visible and that is where I'll be attaching my first little cup. So I can just take the wall side of the sticker off and press it securely. Now for the best benefit of command strips, do leave it over 24 hours before putting any weight in it. Uh, but my toothbrush is pretty light. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the second cup up with my command strips and press those securely against the back side of the door. And now I have a place that's not in my open area of the medicine cabinet where things are gonna get knocked over. Now I'm gonna place one of the extra cups right inside of the medicine cabinet. And I'm doing this so I know how much space I have behind where those cups are going to be when I close the door. So this is truly just to, this is truly just so I know what to place behind there. So as you're doing this with me, make sure those items that are in the biggest section where the cups are will have enough clearance. So when the cup closes it, it doesn't prevent the door from closing. But here you go. I love it. So here's what it looked like before. And here it is after. I did take some time and use my label maker just to put some little labels on it so I don't have to try and remember where things are. But medicine cabinets don't hold very much, so I know you could be doing this right along with me. So you can rewind. And I'm just getting all of my eye care together in one. I'm getting my oral supplies in another. And then the last little bin are the miscellaneous things that I seem to have in my medicine cabinet that I actually reach for more often than you'd think. I don't know why, but I keep a dry erase marker and when I think of a message for my kids, I'll write it right on side of the mirror. 
Um, I have a Sharpie because sometimes I've got clothing and I need to mark it. Uh, and then I also have glue stick. Don't ask me why, but I reach for a glue stick in my bathroom all of the time. I'd love to know in the comments below what weird thing you have in your medicine cabinet. Here's the little cups that are just holding the few items that I have. I have mini scissors. Tweezers are the things that get lost in my cabinet the most, so I'm really happy to have a little home for those. One of the other ideas that I saw, and I won't do today, but I might go back and do, is put the contact paper on the back just to give it a prettier look. Please leave me a comment below if you liked this idea. If you're doing it along with me, let me know how long it took you. Make sure you've also clicked that subscribe button during this time where we're all a little bit more stressed out. I'm trying to bring you happy, uplifting things, and I'm going to be trying to upload a video every other day. I have another one scheduled for this Thursday where I'm going to be showing you a really fun upcycle project, and I'm going to be taking you on a tour of my favorite areas of the backyard. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Also, during this time when a lot of us are at home and unable to work, as you're watching your favorite YouTubers, try to not click through and skip the ads. Um, that's the only revenue that some people are getting at this point in time. And if you can sit through that 10 second commercial, it really will add a lot of income to those people who otherwise won't be working. That's a great way you can help out a YouTuber that you enjoy watching without having to spend any of your own money. So. Thanks for watching. I'll see you Thursday.